coming up next. You guys don't know, but you're about to see here as he's uh, sub meditating and trying to tapping in to a, a completely different being, trying to ascend here. Ninja Killa, our current EVO champion for Mortal Kombat 11, here to play. And right now what we got queued up on the, these guys are ready to go. Like we're going into the action. So I'm gonna stop talking about our introduction. I'm gonna start talking about Ninja Killer. Ninja Killer switching it over yep. to the Shaolin Monks. Here it is, the Shaolin Monks. I'm excited to see it. He is really good at placing that Lao Hat and keeping the pressure on here with Liu Kang. But I mean, June Dragon coming in with a top tier character, Rain. That's right. Newly uh, declared top tier character <laughs> by another incredible fighting game player known as Sonic Fox. Ninja Killer getting a little bit of a warm up here as uh, this is pretty much a clinic here. June Dragoon. Yeah. is uh, opting go for the break, and I feel like that might have just been too little too late. You are building a little bit of bar whether you get hit. Uh, you are, you know, building bar when you're doing special moves and making your opponent block things, but I, I feel like he had he just hold, held on to that combo, you would have gone into this next round with, you know, three bars, full resources, ready to go. Huge whiff punish here coming out of Ninja Killa, and with that corner carry, going to be a little bit bigger of uh, uh, damage. Does drop the end there, and that could have been a big punish, but... He's running away with this round. I yeah. mean, look at that. I think that is the fastest round of Mortal Kombat 1 I've seen. I didn't yeah. see a break there at the end. Again, not not uh, not sure if that was just like a morality thing. Not sure if that was just a, hey, there's no point in breaking. This is Ninja Killa, and I'm in a really bad spot here. But uh, I want to see a little bit more. I want to see a little bit more fight coming out of here. Yeah, for sure. I mean, Ninja Killa, I'm assuming, like you said, chose to go with his main team, expecting to see Sonic Fox later in bracket, have to play against a rain, and it gets go in with that flying dragon kick, able to keep it safe with the Lao Hat, but gets caught on that low fireball. Not able to make much out of it, June Dragoon, but he was able to whip punish it. Oh. Here we go, big launcher into corner carry. Quick 35% right there, and great blocks by Ninja Killa. Gonna go ahead and get the back throw and yeah. get the Shaolin Monk action, both of them together. It's cool how the back throw doesn't really back throw you. Exactly. Like, you just go back to the other side it's and like push them forward. You think, like, oh, they let me out of the corner. How no. nice. Oh, no, they didn't. And a quick D2 just to end that round. Ninja Killa taking it. And I love the hit confirm there from Ninja Killer. That two hitting string going into that unsafe special for, you know, a meterless launch. Very, very rare in this game. But, of course, it does have its downside. Super duper rare. Going right into his face. Oh, the Cyrex ended up taking the dragon fire from the flying kick. So the flying kick just didn't really make the connection. That could have been a bad spot for Ninja Killer, but that's okay. Saving it all for just continuing that momentum. I don't know if we're going to be seeing a rematch. I don't know if we're going to be seeing a player select or maybe even a cameo switch. But this is a, this is a tough one. This is a tough one. I mean, <laughs> going against Ninja Killer on his mains is just really just going to be tough for anyone, including the top players. And you, oh, what a side switch. I have not seen that side switch before with the Kung Lao cameo and forcing Rain into the corner. Now hold this pressure. It's going to be so hard for Jin Dragoon to get out of this situation right now. Yeah, you can even see like how confident Ninja Killer was in punishing that, un you know, normally you think it's safe if you got Cyrex coming out, but he got right under it. Yeah, just like that. And Jun Dragoon, again, choosing to spend the breaker at the end of that round. Not, worth Not sure it. I agree with it. Yeah. Not he had too it. much of a, like, Ninja Kill had too much of a life lead right there. Might as well save the resources so you're able to use it in the next round coming up. Oh, nice little shimmy there. I think Jun Dragoon thought a throw was coming. Yeah, could have tried to duck it, could have tried to like anticipate by letting go a block. Uh, just wasn't blocking. <laughs> just yeah. not blocking at all. That one was a counter. Could have thought a throw tech attempt was going in there. Ninja Killa forcing that last break. And uh, don't really see this really panning out well. Great anti-air, but a little bit of mis-execution on the follow, but that's okay. Ninja Killa taking it. Convincing 3-0 yeah. fashion. Very convincing 3-0 there from Ninja Killa. I mean, that is a scary main team he 
has right there. I thought his Barack Asylarx was very clean. It was a very <laughs> good match. But oh my god, the setup with the hard to blockables. He loves setting up that Kung Lao hat, bringing it in so that it's a low as he jumps in and hits with the overhead. And yeah. it's just, it's you have to figure out. It's, it's a hard to blockable mm -hmm. for a reason.